So it's done. It's done. Seymour is sold. We sell our Airstream in Florida and pick up our Oliver in Tennessee. Last time you're doing this. Last time I'm doing it for us. <laughs> Kevin will probably want to learn how to do it. It might be beneficial for him to learn. It's an art, not a science. It smells. Although there's plenty of work still to be done, we find time to take the boy for a walk around the park. Yep, we're definitely back in Florida. Quick wash. She looks so much better. While heading to U-Haul to pick up the trailer, we got this little surprise. That's it. There's everything. Everything we own. With us. With all our belongings out of Seymour packed into the U-Haul, we were ready for the next day's farewell. I think we brought the weather with us. We're in Florida right now. Frost. This is not what you expect to be doing in Florida when you get up in the morning. Last sleep in the Airstream, last morning in Seymour. Jason went out to get breakfast. Stormy and I are just hanging out, enjoying this cozy bed one more time. Before the new owners arrived, we had time to take Stormy for a walk to say goodbye to his feathered friends. Well, that's it. He's totally empty. Seymour is ready for his new owners to take him back to his new home. We'll miss you, bud. Seymour is no longer <laughs> ours. Seymour is now Gracie. And, um... And Kevin is, and Lucy, a.k.a. Cindy, are the new owners. <laughs> are the new owners. We hope that they will love this Airstream as much as we have. But, yeah, it has been a crazy, crazy couple of days. But we made it. Buying a new camper while living in a camper and having to sell said camper while on the road zero out of ten would recommend. Yeah. Don't do it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. She's becoming Grace. a Floridian. Seymour will soon become Gracie. That's right. She's becoming a Floridian. No more maniac. No more maniac. <laughs> Here we go. That's it. Bye, Seymour. See you later. On the, down the road. Wait! We changed our mind. Just kidding. All right, so. All right, we're homeless. We are officially homeless. For the next six days. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing to do is to get rid of these bikes. <laughs> so we found a place, a thrift store nearby, and it's gonna take them off our hands. So Jay's just gonna clear out some room in the back and get rid of these. And then all we have left is everything that's in there that has to fit in the new 23 foot Oliver. That's the next challenge. But we have like five days until we have to deal with that. The last thing that we have to do before we can oh, continue on. So unfortunately, the one that we had that would fit is packed in the very front of that. <laughs> so we had to ask around. Fourth time is a charm. Hopefully. Did you find a bigger wrench? Um, the biggest wrench. <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> Come on. So 
we've made it. This is home for the week. Cute little garden shed. Isn't that sweet? Very cute. It's a little TV nook. Little dining area. Full kitchen. Closet? Holy moly. This is much different than what we're used to. Oh my god. <laughs> and just when I didn't think it could get much better, Jason showed me. We have a bathtub. <laughs> we used the downtime to walk around the neighborhood, take a rest, and headed to Pensacola downtown for some good food. Then it was time to get back on the road. We had a simple dinner in our hotel room in Hohenwald before our big day. We made our way to the factory and took a look around the showroom at the LE1 and LE2, the only two campers made by Oliver. Stormy, what do you think? We were all introduced to our new Ollie and given a complete and thorough walkthrough. Stormy, come on. Papa. Come on. Go with Papa. Let's go. Inside. What do you think? No bark. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. I know. So the time is here. We have arrived. Welcome is, to Seymour 3.0. This is our new camper. All 18 feet of living space. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's a little crazy. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. We always do. With the walkthrough complete, they hitched us up and we pulled Picolino into a spot just outside the factory, where we would spend the next few days moving aboard and checking out our systems. Hi. Hi. What are we doing? Making our bed. <laughs> Literally making our bed. Making a bed that, after seeing all this, will remain a bed. We'll be all foofy woofy. For all of eternity. Cushy. <laughs> it's like a Springy. Spring with four inch foam over the top. And what is this system? called a Froley Zona. So it's it's to help two things. One, with all the fiberglass and the bed right on top of it, it doesn't breathe very well. So if it's cold and your body is warm, you create condensation. So we have that problem on the boat too, which we use something a little bit less high tech. This is supposed to make take care of all that condensation so we don't have it and also provide a nice cushion so it's a lot more comfortable. Because that's so, our mattress right yes. there, which is just the regular bench cushions for the dinette. So, so we hope that this will be worth it. Everything I've read about it has nothing but really good reviews. Just takes a little bit to put together, but then you're sleeping well afterwards, and that's what's important. All right, let's make a bet. How long do you think it'll take to assemble this? Two to three hours. I'm betting four and a half. Okay. All right. Bet on. Bet on. We'll report back later. All right. <laughs> so what are we going to do while Daddy's making the bed? Are we going to just live in chaos? It's an adult erector set. Are you supervising? Is daddy putting it together properly? <laughs> bed is made. We have a bed. In under two hours, so I was way off. <laughs> Bed, the bed, yes. <laughs> a happy dog, a happy, happy dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. So we've been at Oliver over the weekend. And then yesterday there were just a few minor things that we found on the trailer that needed to be taken care of. The microwave wasn't working, so they just swapped that out. A um, couple of little things that they easily fixed yesterday while we finished up some errands locally. Got rid of the U-Haul. Shipped things back to Maine that we won't be needing or that wouldn't fit. <laughs> so this morning we are hitching up and rolling out to Millington.
you can barely see it back there. It barely sticks out further than the truck. Much different than Seymour. And just like that, we were headed back west with Picolino in tow. See you in the next episode.